Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number 45. So in this question we're told that fg of x equals 3x squared minus 4. fg of x could be thought of as f of g of x. This means we write out the f function, but instead of the input x, we have g of x. So if we write out the f function again, which is 3x take away 1, we're told that in the question, but replace all of the x's with g of x. That would be 3 lots of g of x take away 1. Now both of these are ways of writing f g of x, so they must be equal to each other. So we could write 3 g of x take away 1 equals 3x squared minus 4. Now we can just rearrange this equation to get g of x. If you add 1 to both sides, you get 3 g of x equals 3x squared minus 3. Then divide both sides by 3. On the left you get g of x, and on the right 3x squared minus 3, divide by 3. There's a common factor of 3 here, so we could divide by 3 for all terms, and we end up with x squared minus 1. So we now know the function g. In the question we're asked to solve gf of x equals 0. Now gf of x is just the g function, but we have f as the input. So we're going to write out the g function again, but replace all of the x's with the whole of the f function. So the g function is x squared minus 1, so we're going to do 3x minus 1 all squared, so that's the f function squared, take away 1. So that's gf of x. We've been asked to solve gf of x equals 0, so we'll just set this equal to 0 and then we just need to solve. Now if you want to, you can expand the brackets and go for a solution that way, but you could also just add one to both sides, so that will give you 3x minus one squared equals one, then square root both sides. On the left you'll get 3x minus one, and on the right you'll get two solutions, plus or minus one, and then we add one to both sides, so we get 3x equals one plus or minus one, and then divide both sides by three. So x will equal one plus or minus one divided by three. This will give you two solutions. If we do the plus one first, we've got one plus one divided by three, so x is two thirds. And for the other one, one take away one divided by three is just zero. So your two solutions are x equals two thirds and x equals zero. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.